Squirt, squirt. Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, we back again, what's happening out there in the world, what's up in them streets. So in this episode, we are going to be doing a quick little sales update, sales results on the store that we've been following, the one that we recently reopened on eBay. We're also going to talk about some stuff going on with GMA and what I have going on with cards in the store in general, you know what I mean, because they're linked, they're linked. So first, let's do the sales results update if you go to eBay, it'll bring you to your home screen, little area here. Hover over my eBay. Click selling. That'll bring you to your overview. Now you can see we've only had a thousand dollars in sales with this store. This isn't my main store by any means, but we've only had a thousand dollars for sales of sales in the last 30 days. And in the last 90 days, we've had 2,200 here. You can see. But this store we opened on, where are we at? We opened on the 28th of June. No, yeah? Oh yeah, 20th of June. So it hasn't quite been 60 days yet. We're a week shy of 60 days. So that means we've already made over $1,100 is what we're already averaging above that for per month. When it comes to eBay, I mentioned this before in, I believe, the first video in this series. When you, If you want to push your sales, the best way to do that is to list things. If you list things constantly and you bring up your inventory, even if it's, even if those items don't sell, for some reason, it pushes up your sales dramatically. It always happens. Anytime I need to make extra money, I will go to listing. And I might not sell those items, but my sales will increase drastically. We're getting ready to receive a bunch of inventory, a bunch of cards. We're getting ready to get some cards back. That's what I want to talk about with GMA. And that's going to push up the inventory on this store quite a bit. And when that happens, our sales are going to jump and we have... All right, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, it's been like seven weeks and we've had $2,200 in sales. Let's look at some of the items that have sold. Let's look over the last week. We'll filter it here to last week. And let's see. So we've sold base set Hitmonchan for 10 bucks. Some more Japanese holographics, some more GMA cards. 8.5s. For some reason, the lower grade um cheaper gma cards seem to sell quickly like the 8.5s that i had listed for 20 bucks seem to be selling quick as compared to a lot of the 10s that were listed for 30 but so that's been the sales there you go that's a little update with that now let's look at gma something beautiful with gma here boom look at that do you see it do you see the new slabs how they look beautiful GMA is they changed their label and before it was like this print out like pop apart paper label that a lot of people very much did not like I wasn't crazy about it myself it made it look cheap it, it was cheap this is much better even I mean don't get me wrong the old labels I didn't dislike the labels it's just that aspect about them how they popped apart i wasn't crazy about it. i didn't like that okay i will admit i didn't care for that too much but overall the labels were fine with me i didn't have a major issue with them at all because they weren't to be considered on the same level as psa or or uh bgs or cgc but now that they're having this label here this is a big step this is this is nice these are nice so check it out they hit me up two days ago. I recently just spent a bunch of money on stuff. So they hit me up two days ago. They sent me an invoice for my two packages. Not one, but for two of my packages that I sent out on the $12 tier. Let me pull out my list here of my submissions. So I sent those out. When was that? 
that was I sent one out 105 cards around July 30th and then I sent 101 cards around July 20th and both of those they invoiced me for on like the 18th or something like that of August so that's quick for the 60 day turnaround for them to be invoicing me I mean that is dope so that's cool i'm really hoping when i get them back that all these slabs are going to have these new beautiful labels on there that would be so gas but so check this out if you don't know let's just go let's go over the submissions that i currently have out i'm going to start with the submissions that i sent first so the first submission i'm sent was the bgs the huge submission that I sent all the way back in January of 1,007 cards to Beckett. That was before they raised their prices, right before they raised their prices. I even mentioned it in my video like four days, five days maybe before the prices went up that they were getting ready to be insanely increased, and they did. They doubled, and then not long after that, they closed their doors for a while, as, people, as you all know. But anyways, so I sent 1,007 cards to Beckett, and I got them into the $10 per card level wow at the last minute i literally i sent in six batches for that and the last batch got there the week that they that they were no longer that the old prices was the price was changing that the, it was changing i got it there the, that week but right before it happened so anyways the, i did the same thing with psa I, I saw it coming you know i knew it was gonna happen we knew it was gonna happen so i got 38 cards to them at the 10 dollars per card and then I've got 101 cards that I submitted in July to GMA and towards the very end of July. And then 201 cards on the six month tier to GMA right around the end of July. And then 105 cards at the end of July to GMA on the $12 per card tier, the 60 day. And then 108 cards and 73 cards in two separate packages to CGC about halfway through August and that's on the six month scale so over 200 cards what's that over 200 that's 269 cards to CGC right oh wait no I'm doing that wrong it was 108 and 73 so that's 181 cards to CGC and then I sent 196 cards about halfway through August to GMA on the six month tier so all together that is a lot that is close to that's like 1750 cards or something like that so and i also have them where some of them are on the tw six month some of them are on the 60 day and some of them are on the six month with psa and bgs where it's really like a year you know what i mean so i've staggered them fairly well we just got the invoices for the first two batches of cards coming back and we have more batches of cards that should be coming before too long after them so this store is getting ready to crank up i'm gonna pay that those invoices off very very soon and then i'm gonna get those cards back we're gonna list them it's gonna pump up the inventory on the store the sales are gonna jump you gonna see it and we're gonna open up and see what some of those grades are we get and then we're gonna get the next batch and we're gonna pump it. The next batch we're gonna pump it. In the meantime, I'm gonna be opening packs and buying cards and we're gonna be submitting them so that we can keep it going, keep it rolling. What's up, let's make that money. That Fetty, that guap, what's up, let's do it. So, um, anything else new, let me think. So that's a little update on the store for you and you see these beautiful new labels. Ooh, that black and gold, black and yellow, gotta love it, that's gas. So I hope everything good with y'all out there in them streets. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and show your dog some love. What's up? Until next time. Peace.